Hello and welcome to another episode of the Temple of Elemental Evil. We killed those guys off camera, I did it first try. I kind of wish I'd been recording, but I wasn't sure how long it would take. I don't want to keep making recordings, die, delete, make another recording, die, delete, so, you know, I did it off camera. And I'm going to show you in a minute what I won from that fight. As well as, um, we got 1400 experience points for it, so that was really nice. Got an absolute crap ton of potions. Including a greater potion of heroism, which is a really, really good potion that might put one of my fighters. It just makes them absolutely ridiculous in terms of power. So let's identify some of the items we found. So we got loads of these magic braces. I think they're just braces of armor um, plus one, like this one is. I mean, it's that's Brace of Armor plus 3. Okay, that's really good. I think they're all that. I don't think they're any higher. We also got uh, Magic Rings. A couple of Ring of Protection plus 2. That's damn good. We can place our old Ring of Protection plus 1 on somebody with that. We've got this Magic Wand of Fireball with 10 charges. Wow, that's really, really good. I like that. And I think anyone can use it as well, so... That's decent. Yeah, Brace of Armor plus 3, which we can put on our fighters. This black scarab doesn't really do anything, but I think we can sell it. We've got Staff of the Transmuter, which is quite a good uh, 1d6 plus 1 uh, staff. Potions as well. This crap we can sell now. Yeah, since our wizards will not be using staffs, we can sell that for a nice profit. 2,500. I'm sure he'll sell it for much more. Yes, he sells it for a lot more. And I'm only at six gold for that. We're not going to sell that. Or we're not going. To, definitely not going to sell that. We've got some orbs and nice pearls we can sell. So normally I would do this off camera, but I'm just. I wanted to show what I picked up from the fight because some of it is really, really good. A lot of this stuff is junk, really. You just sell it for money. Like you can't do anything with a fancy gold ring. It's not magical. I, just, I like to organise my uh, spaces a bit better. I'll get that to summon in a minute. I'll decide who. Obviously the melee fighters. Whoops. See, I'm wearing this to save space, but it doesn't do anything. It's just, like I said, it's all for money. We've got a ring there, we've got a platinum ring we can sell there. Wanalon Scroll of Control Plant. That's for Wanalon, we don't want to sell that. Even though we're not probably never going to see Wanalon again, but you never know. Supposed to produce person, that's what we can. We never can use that. It's just not the way I play. I mean, I'm sure it's perfectly. That's good. Why have I not got that on? Maybe I didn't realise. And a magic crossbow that no one can use. Oh, we should identify that or we won't get as much money for it. Wanalons. Okay, we'll keep that then. And here we got some really good items, including the fantastic potion of greater heroism, which just makes a character incredibly powerful. We've got regular heroism as well. We also have that as a spell, but it's nice to have it as a potion, so we don't have to use up a spell slot. So healing potions we've got, potions of haste, a large person, invisibility we're never going to use because we don't have a rogue. If you do have a rogue, that's really good. You can sneak up behind people and do backstabs. Neutralized poison is always good. Eel splendor I'll never use. That increases wisdom. Eh, it's kind of unnecessary. Potion of hiding. Potion of reduced person. Protection from animal, we don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Why would you need potion of protection from elementals? These things are weak, man. You kill them in like three hits. Suppose you're at a lower level, it might be handy. Protection from fire. Faster level five. That might have been handy earlier. It could still be handy if you're doing the elemental nodes, which I'm not. I'm definitely not selling that, but we will identify it. You see it's worth 11,000 gold. I like to hold weapons right. It's 
of the fire shield again. Uh, scroll heal is useful. Scroll heal will cure diseases, I think, and other ailments. I'm not sure. Well, we've got so many of these white powers, it's ridiculous. We're making so much money off all this junk we do. Treasure? Lots of treasure. What's this here? Protection from undead again, we don't need. And finally, this is the guy who got all the really good stuff. We got magic. Oh, steel shield plus two is not that good. We don't use shields. But we did get another one of these magic braces plus three. We got this. Another ring of minor fire resistance. Well, I don't know. That's a ring of text plus two. I don't know why I haven't identified any of this stuff. It's not like I haven't got the money. Staff of striking. That's a good staff. Magic full plate plus one. That's garbage. It's, it's no good. The amount of the lack of dexterity bonus kind of it does have AC plus nine, but the dexterity bonus ruins it. And these boots of speed are amazing. I'll show you what they do in a minute. Ring of protection plus three. Oh, that's really nice. That's really really nice. We we'll sell this. Po we don't need poison for anything. Some of this stuff is really decent. Let's reorganize. We can sell the staff for strike. We're not going to use that. It's a good staff if you lose staffs. But... Oh, and obviously, get rid of this garbage. 3,000. It's garbage. You sell all the good stuff. Right. Now we've got to decide who to equip some of this magnificent loot on. Well. So let's see what these, man, these do. On command, these boots will grant the wearer the effect of a haste spell for 10 rounds per day. Wow. So, auto haste. I think you have to actually click use when you, uh... I think that would be really nice for, uh, our fighter. We've got braces of armor plus three, which does not stack with a magic ring of protection. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So we put on the ring of protection. Actually, we'll give that to someone who needs a bit more. So he's already got braces of armor plus three, okay. And a ring of protection plus two. It's, it doesn't stack with other rings of protection, as I think I've already mentioned before. Yes, this video is me going through infantry, trying to decide what's best for each person. Uh, blah, 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 blah. She's already got Ring of Protection plus two, so everyone seems to have a Ring of Protection already. He's only got a plus one, so maybe we should give it to him. He does get in combat. Okay. He's only got a Ring of Protection plus two, so we could give him a plus one as well. Or the plus, uh... So who's got the... He's got the Ring of Protection plus three, hasn't he? So we give it to him. And now he's got 27 armor class. It is a real shame that it does not stack with the braces because I don't have anyone to put them on. They've all got rings. But I suppose if we take off the ring and put on the bracer, we'll have one more armor, won't we? Duh. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. They've all got rings. He's got ring of protection plus one. So maybe we should give him the bracers because. He's got the weakest ring. She doesn't have any. Mind you, she doesn't get in combat, so it doesn't matter. So, who's got the braces? Well, two of them have braces. So, let's give them to him. Let's take his ring off. And now it's. Oh. Okay, that's weird. It doesn't increase his armor at all. Why is that? It's not. Have I got some sort of. Let's have a look. That's strange, it should be putting his item on. They surround the wearer with an invisible but tangible field of force, granting him the armor bonus. Just as though he were wearing armor. Its effects do not stack with armor. Ah. Okay. So he's already got plus three, so it would be like not wearing armor. Okay. I understand. So it's good for characters who aren't wearing, like, heavy gear. Ah. Uh, Might be useful to give to one of my casters then. You see it works on uh, it works on him because he doesn't wear armor because he's a monk. 
So, having seen that, we can only give it to one of our mages. Both our mages can have them. That's fine, that works, that works. I didn't know that about them, I'm glad it, it told me that. So now our mages can have a bit more armor. That's not bad at all. A little bit pointless, because obviously mages aren't getting into combat. Who needs a ring of fire resistance then? One of the mages I would suspect? Yes, because he doesn't have one. So let's do that. Where's the ring of fire resistance? I've forgotten who owned it. Was it him? Him. Okay, let's give it to our wizard. There you go. Brand new ring. You don't have a ring. You got one now. Lovely. Oh, and the wand of fireball. I might give that to my monk, actually. I might let him use it because he kind of gets hit a lot. Okay, let's just double check. We've got everything. Fire resistance. Oh, we've got a spare ring we can give him as well, haven't we? A ring of armor. We might have a couple. Ring plus one. There's two rings, so we can give them to our casters. Yes. Lovely. Just checking nobody else has any. Good. That's that's just right. So we give one to him. And who else? For him. No. Somebody had one. You. Okay, you can have one too. Except he's already got one. Okay, my bad. Well, you can just carry one then. Whatever. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to, I think, go... No, I'll be alright, I'll be alright. I was gonna say, I'll go back to my chest in Knob. I'm over here. And put some stuff away, but I don't really have to. And, uh, how much time do we have left? Save it, because we're not going to run and fight. So sorry if that was kind of boring for you, but I wanted to show what we got and who we're going to equip the stuff on. You never know, we might get into a random encounter on the map. Or not. Oh, we did! Ah, oh, who is it? What? We've been sent by the Countess Telahi of Selene and by her consort Sir Jufa to reward you for their rescue. This reward isn't as good as Scala, by the way. Just saying. Wonderful! What do I get? The reward is 100 platinum pieces for each member of your party. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred platinum. Thank you very much. I also prevent you with a suit of elven chainmail. May I aid you? I think this might be the black elven chainmail, you know. This is a rare and priceless gift. It's not priceless. And to you especially, Samuel, the Countess wish to give you this ring with her blessing. Please give the Countess my thanks, my lady. May you favour. May you fare ever well, Samuel. Is this the black elven chain? Oh my god! I love. Black Elven Chain it is the best, and he's gonna wear it because it will give him extra armor class 26. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, does anybody need the purple Elven Chain? I think I'll just move it down the line. Like, oh, that is freaking sweet. So, that was worth it, wasn't it? And I got that on camera too. So, now he can have. I think he's already got Black Elven actually. Yeah, yeah, he does. So, now we've got two Black Elvens. Uh, who needs Elven Chain? Let's see. My inventory is too heavy. Yes, yes, yes. I'm over. Ah, there we go. He can wear a purple Elven Chain now. I think he has the green, doesn't he? Yeah. So we can go. Um, we're going to have to go to Knob and put some of this stuff away that we're probably never going to use, but I don't want to sell because it's cool. Yeah, so let's go to Knob and go to our chest. That was that was fortunate, and it extended my time of the video. I'm really lucky to have got that on camera. Next time we do that, we might actually even get Scaler. Assuming that Prince Strong will escape by himself, I'm, I'm going to assume that he's able to do that. I mean, surely he won't get lost and die. He's Prince Thrummel. He's awesome. He's level 10. He's got Scather. I mean, he's got Fragorak. He should have escaped by himself, right? Hopefully. Not the end of the world if he doesn't. We could probably kill the final boss right now if we wanted to. At once. Even without Scather. But it'd be nice to have for that fight. Let me blather in on. Right. As you wish. Final thing we're going to do for this video before we... Uh, we're going to put some stuff away. Uh, we will be doing something with the skull in a couple of videos time. I'm not going to do that until I've defeated Hedrak. 
and you'll see why when I fight head track. Uh, we're never going to use a rope for tangle man. It's a good thing to have, but I'm just, I just won't bother using it. We won't use that. Most of the stuff I'll probably never use. He doesn't need a spear. I mean, he's a monk. What is he doing with a spear? Put all this away. Put it all away. We don't need a ring of protection plus one for anyone anymore. Because everyone already has at least a ring of protection plus one. Keep all the scroll. We don't even need scroll. I should have sold that. I don't even know what that's for. When will you use a scroll of control plant, you know? Okay, we'll keep that. Like, never know, never know. All the stuff we're keeping might come in handy. He might run out of bolts, just in case. Don't know. Keep all that. We could just sell this, but we're not going to. I haven't actually tried the longsword plus three yet. It's got to be better than the rapier plus two. And the cleaver. The cleaver's good, but I don't know. I didn't notice that much. We don't need a longsword plus two now. We've got a longsword plus three. I don't even know why I keep any of that crap. Three short sword plus ones. Why do we have three short sword plus ones? <laughs> I need all that. We're almost done, we're almost done. He doesn't need short spears, come on. Javelin of lightning that can, you can use that. Long sword plus why has he got a long sword plus one? Uh, okay, and that's that. So sorry if that was a little bit boring and uneventful. I'd like to show what I picked up and what I'm doing with it. In the next part we will be entering combat in the temple. We'll be doing some more room clearing before we move on to what I consider the, one of the more difficult fights of the game. And there's one reason in particular why that is and you might find out if I mess up. So we'll see. So thank you for watching and like, comment, subscribe and watch my other videos as well, I've done many others and all that, thank you.